in Philadelphia. That company today is still in business. They now build roller coasters. No kidding. Can you imagine a room full of 150 laughing sows? Creepy, spooky. Can you imagine a room full of 150 Dave Stelks? I can't, but Dave Stelk recently sat down with the real bona fide official live Ghostbuster. The name of my business is the Office of Paranormal Investigations. Lloyd Auerbach runs the business out of a cramped office in his Pleasant Hill home. You're a ghostbuster? I'm a ghostbuster of sorts. We don't really bo bust or hunt ghosts, the way that people kind of portray that, although those are common terms that we use. Technically, Lloyd's a parapsychologist. He holds a degree on the subject, has written several books on paranormal activity, and was even voted, get this, the 2003 Parapsychologist of the Year. This is kind of like the Oscars of the parapsychology world? Uh, no, that's more like, um, that's a minor award. You believe in ghosts? Personally, I believe in ghosts. From a scientific perspective, we don't have any absolute proof of the existence of ghosts any more than we do of the absolute proof of consciousness. This could be a bunch of fooey, right? Well, here's a way to look at it. Um, people are having these experiences. We are trying to understand what these experiences are. I have on occasion felt and heard things here. Lorraine Miller is the resident innkeeper at the Pelican Inn, a popular bed and breakfast near John Muir Beach. She says the place is haunted. But a lot of the other guests and staff members have um, felt things too. Um, I'm wondering how much gear to carry with me. I'm going to take my case, so. Armed with tri-field meters, those are devices that measure magnetic fields, and still cameras, Lloyd came to investigate the Pelican Inn. He also invited psychic Pam Heath. Whoa. <laughs> are we being followed? Something's going on. Most of their readings can be explained away. There must be some wiring yeah. in here. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. My wireless right. microphone, for example, was causing false readings. That's my mojo working. <laughs> yeah, clearly. But once inside, Pam claims to have seen a ghost standing in the dining room. And I was looking towards the fireplace, and it felt like I saw a woman here. And, uh, in a long skirt. In addition to magnetic fields, ghost detectives often use temperature as a clue. Sometimes they sense hot or cold spots. I'm feeling a very warm spot right here. <laughs> yes, I noticed you that might... when we first came into the, the mm -hmm. dining room, that yeah. there was a lot of heat coming from yeah. this direction. Upstairs in the bedroom area, Lloyd says he picked up more energy. Sometimes I feel it as a, kind of a sinus pressure. I have felt a little bit of that. Just up here. You can take stuff for that. It's called Sudafed. Yeah, I do take Sudafed um, for that, specifically. So this is, I think, one of her hidey places. Pam was drawn to this tiny storage closet where the inn's staff says boxes are mysteriously disheveled from time to time. And Pam also felt energy in room number seven. In fact, she said she saw the female ghost again, just behind our cameraman. She's standing not far from me right now. I don't know if it's actually her name or not, but the name that kept coming to me was May. Pam claims to have spoken with May. Supposedly, she died in 1943 and in the afterlife took up residence in the inn because it, quote, makes her feel like a princess. She's not, um, malicious or angry or upset she's actually feels very shy ask her about today's third race at golden gate fields <laughs> she giggled now whether you believe in ghosts or not if you could decide where to spend all of eternity eh, a quaint marin county inn isn't such a bad choice when you die mm -hmm. would you like to come back as a ghost i'm going to stick around as a ghost so i'm going to probably first haunt a few skeptics freak them out a bit, but then I'm gonna travel and see the world. And here at Musée Mechanique, a quarter in the haunted house will get you and your family scared to death. Look at that, Malou. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on in there, but it's pretty frightening. <laughs> By the way, subsequent tests were run on this uh, the transformer that uh, Dave was wearing, this transmit, I suppose. The and, microphone uh, pack? Exactly. Turns out uh, it is possessed by the devil. <clears throat> possessed by the devil.